Halfway through Mike Hastings' first season as head coach of the Wisconsin Badgers, they're 14 and four overall, eight and two in the Big Ten, one point behind first place Michigan State. Last weekend, the Badgers swept Penn State at the Kohl Center, 6-3 and 4-1. Now they have a couple of weeks off. Stick around, assistant coach Nick Oliver joins us next. I'm Brian Posick, and this is the Badger Hockey Digest. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody... Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Well, Mike Hastings has the week off. We're joined by assistant coach Nick Oliver. You enjoying your time in Madison so far, Nick? It's been awesome so far. Um, it's been an unbelievable experience for myself and uh, obviously my family. And, and we're settled and um, we're enjoying the people and, and everything that the Madison area has to offer. You're yeah, enjoying some success on the ice as well. The Badgers coming off the series sweep of Penn State last weekend. Your club scores 10 goals but you give up only four. You're facing a Penn State team that averaged 42 shots on goal per game, and you hold them to 54 for the weekend. So what did you do defensively to slow them down? Yeah, you know what, I think you, you got to give the guys a lot of credit for uh, being prepared. And there's a lot of guys in the room that have played Penn State before and are very familiar with, with how they play and you know, very aggressive offensively, uh, a lot of shot volume, a lot of traffic, a lot of chaos around the net. So I know that was a big uh, point of emphasis for us going into the weekend was, um, you know, they're going to shoot it and try to eliminate as many seconds and thirds as you can. Yeah, and you played both goaltenders and both played well. Kyle McClellan on Friday night and then freshman William Grandma on Saturday night. Two different styles, Nick, but getting the same results, aren't they? Yeah, and you know what, really, really happy and proud of both of those guys for uh, obviously the work they put in uh, to get to the result, right? I think um, a lot of times with goaltending, you look at the, the bottom line and you look at the stats, but um, when you see the way that, that the two of them work every day along with Ben Garrity and um, the amount of time they put into it, and, and so it's fun to see both of them obviously getting the results and, and being big pieces of it for us. Yeah, and the work that Kevin Murdoch puts in with those three young men too is pretty pretty impressive Absolutely. and important, right? Yep, yeah. no question. Yeah, you know, also besides team defense and goaltending, penalty kill's been superb. Only two power play goals allowed in 10 Big Ten games. Uh, you got to have a lot of heart to be on the PK and you've got a lot of guys that have a lot of heart, don't you? Yeah, and that's been a definitely a bright spot for us so far this season and something that we need to continue into the second half. But um, yeah, you look at a lot of different guys contributing contributing on the on the man short as well. And obviously it always starts with your goaltender, mm -hmm. right? They have to be your best penalty killer. And, um, and then you go up and down the lineup, a lot of different guys that have been given opportunity of taking advantage of that. And, and like I said, been a bright spot for us here in the first half. Certainly so. Owen Lindmark and Jack Horbach lead the way up front. The Badgers uh, off until December 28th and 29th for the quick trip holiday face off. More about that coming up in just a moment. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. 
proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. This has been a fantastic start to the season, best start the Badgers have had since their 05-06 National Championship campaign. When did you get a sense, Nick, that this team could accomplish what it's accomplished so far? Yeah, I think, you know, even when I was hired and, and the staff was hired in the summer and, and seeing the guys, uh, how they interacted with each other even during off-season training, um, I think we were always optimistic, right? You never know um, until you, you get into it and, and you, the bullets are flying for real, right? And you get into those games and those situations. And um, But I, I think we were always optimistic about it. And to see the leadership continue to grow, um, to see our depth continue to show through and um, just up and down the lineup, different guys contributing and um, finding ways to, you know, not just create offense, but whether it's defensively, whether it's goaltending, um, you look at all three position groups, and I think um, our depth has been a big key for it. Yeah, and you really never know when you bring in a new head coach, a whole new staff with Todd Connaught and Kevin Murdoch and yourself, and, you know, you have the players on this team. Most of them had never played for Coach Hastings before. There was an unknown that, okay, let's see what we have. But, boy, it seems like the players have bought into what Mike and the rest of the staff are, are teaching them, right? Yeah, and I think give – give the players a lot of credit for that, right? I think um, anytime there's change, it, it takes uh, both sides to, to come together on, on what, what the goals are, what the, what the message is. Um, and you watch how our guys have worked and it, it hasn't always been pretty, right, throughout the year. And uh, there's always things that, that we're gonna keep pushing to get better with. Um, and even going through the stretch that we did uh, at Michigan State, home against Anchorage, I think um, until you face adversity like that, you, you really learn more about your group and you learn more about individuals. And, um, and I think our, our guys have done a good job responding from that and obviously finished off our first half strong. All right, so where can you improve? What areas can you improve upon? I, you know what, I think consistency for sure. And, and just, um, I think there's, uh, and that's always something you're striving for as a coach and as a team and uh, cliche to say a 60 minute game. And, um, but I think there's a lot of truth to that. I think there's some nights where um, we probably need to find more consistency to our game. Uh, there's nights we need to find it earlier, right? Um, with our starts and um, some different things that way. But I think just finding, yeah, some consistent traction to our game and what we're doing and, um, and just continuing to grow right through practice and obviously getting out to Milwaukee here uh, to start our first half. Yeah, and that should be fun at the Quick Trip Holiday Faceoff Air Force, Minnesota, Duluth, Northeastern at Pfizer Forum. And uh, it's a holiday tournament. You're asking the young men to come back early to participate, but hockey players like to play hockey. This should be a fun tournament. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're looking forward to it. And obviously, I think um, we're all excited to, to get out to Milwaukee and play and, and um, continue to, to grow um, our brand and our program in our state and um, against some really high, high quality competition, too. So um, you said it. I think everyone's going to enjoy a little bit of a break, but uh, knowing our guys and knowing uh, athletes in general and hockey players in general, uh, they'll be excited and, and chomping at the bit to get back after it. All right, Nick, thanks so much for your time. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. That's Nick Oliver, assistant coach with the Wisconsin Badgers. Again, at the Quick Trip Holiday Faceoff at Pfizer Forum, December 28th and 29th. Both games start at 7.30 on the Badger Sports Network and the Varsity Network app. All four games will be live on Valley Sports Wisconsin. For Nick Oliver, Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.